Oops. There's the camera. G'day guys, Aaron here from Shitty Stuff Australia and today I have this beautiful Anschultz 1761 chambered in 22 LR. Now this is new to the market and this is one of the first sold in Australia. I'm very lucky that a really nice viewer has lent me this rifle. And first impressions, it's a beautiful rifle, nice and light. It's a thumb hole stock, this is for your right hand. So that feels so comfortable and even in my left hand it feels really nice. So this one here is the 18 inch barrel threaded. It also comes in a 20.3 inch barrel non-threaded. So you pay about $150 more for the threaded version. So these come in at about the 2600 mark and boy you do get a very nice rifle for that price. They're nice and light. It is a five shot round magazine stainless steel and this is really well made. You get two with it. So the bolt's a three lug system and it is very smooth. They put a coating on it so it does feel a lot smoother and it actually cuts down on the wear on the bolt. The stock is a very nice timber finish on this. It's a matte finish, looks very classy and it's a beautiful piece of wood with some very nice checkering in it. So this is topped off with the Leupold Freedom Scope which is quite a nice scope, they only go for about 300 bucks. So the trigger is set from the factory at 2.2 pounds and it does feel very nice, very crisp at breaking, no real creep on it at all. It's a single stage trigger but it is adjustable from 1.8 to 2.7. So it being an Anschultz I'm expecting this to shoot extremely well. So we will try several different rounds of ammunition through this and we'll see how all sorts of brands and price brackets go through it. But usually Anschultz is really well known for being extremely accurate. So let's get out there and have a go. Well, I was pretty happy getting every bullet touching with the first group I did with this rifle. You now, this 50 meter test was the very first time I'd ever shot this rifle. So I was just lucky that it was already sighted in for 50 meters. And I tell you what, this EV stuff started the review off really well. This is a 40 grain projectile traveling at 1,085 feet a second, and it produced a 8 millimeter group. Then we moved over to the Ely Match. So this is meant to be one of their premium rounds from what I can see on the website and it is also travelling at 1085 feet a second with a 40 grain projectile. And this one came in at 1mm more at a 9mm group. Still I'm pretty happy with that. And then we used an ammo that I've never actually seen before, the CCI Green Tag. Never heard about this one at all. And it's a 40 grain bullet traveling 1,070 feet a second. All I can find out on the internet about it is that it is using a clean burning propellant. It's meant to keep your actions a lot cleaner. But I can tell you what, for a greeny product, it performed pretty damn well at 6.5 mils. So 
Yep, that was the first time I'd ever seen this, and I'm pretty happy with the results of the green tag. Then we moved over to the CCI Mini Max. So this is also a 40 grain bullet going at 1,235 feet a second. And it managed to produce a 21 millimeter group. Now I've never really had much luck with the CCI Mini Mags at all in various rifles that I've used them in. And the RWS Subsonic HP. This came in at a very respectable 4 mil group. So this is also a 40 grainer traveling at 1,030 feet a second. So I was definitely happy with the way that this one went. When I was looking through the scope, the small groups like this, I can hardly tell with my bad eyes where they were actually hitting. So this is the Fioki Performance. This is a 38 grain projectile traveling at 1,260 feet a second. I've always had pretty good results with this. But in between setting up the targets, the wind did pick up a little bit. So I did get two flyers. It's probably just me not shooting it right, I dare say. But I use this ammunition in all my 22s. So I only have to buy one brand and that's it. Uh, so this actually, unfortunately, with all five groups put together, came in at 26 mils. But I was happy with the three rounds in the centre that I didn't knock off target. This is the Fioki 320, so it's travelling at 320 metres a second, or 1,049 feet per second. This is their premium range of ammunition, and it does come in close to $20 per box. That's per 50 of them as well. So I was extremely, extremely happy to see it shooting a 3mm group. If I was building a target rifle, uh, just for shooting competitions, this would be the sort of ammunition I would sight in for and use. And then this one really did surprise me. This is the Remington 22 Target. Now, I have never had any luck whatsoever with Remington 22 ammo. So when this came in at an 8mm group, if I didn't get that flyer, it would be an absolutely perfect group. So this really did surprise me at 8mm. So this is also a 40 grainer traveling at 1,048 feet per second. And then we used this box of SK and I cannot find any information on this at all. It was supplied by the owner of the gun and I tell you what, it did shoot really well. It came in a very respectable 3.5 millimeter group. So I will endeavor to find out a bit more about this or even if they sell it on their website, I cannot find it anywhere. And lastly, it was the Winchester M22. Now, I have had absolutely no luck whatsoever with any Winchester 22 ammo in the past. So I could not believe it when this came in, had a 7mm group. I mean, I have just sprayed this stuff everywhere. Never had any luck with it whatsoever. So to get a 7mm group out of this, I was pretty damn happy. So it is a 40 grain bullet traveling at 1,255 feet a second. So judging by these groups, I dare say this will turn out to be quite a good rifle. But you definitely are getting value for your money if it's able to group 10 different brands of ammunition this well. We've got a few flyers here and there, but everything can be tightened up. So let's get out and stretch its legs a little bit further.
Okay, guys, I really did enjoy shooting this. This is definitely a step above your run-of-the-mill 22s. Definitely would outshoot my Ruger Precision 22 and my CZs. This is such a nice rifle. I know it is $2,600, but it definitely is the next step to uh, your run-of-the-mill stuff. It works nice. The bolt is smooth. Magazines are extremely solid. They load it easily. And you can fit seven in here, but what we did find if you tried seven, it was too much pressure on the spring and it did sort of jam up. So leave them at five and you won't have a problem. The one downfall we did find is when you bring the bolt up, it's easy just to hit the safety on. It happened a couple of times. It's not really a major, but it's something just to be aware of. Man, the timber on this is extremely nice as well. It's finished beautifully. With this threaded barrel, just wish we could have suppressors in Australia. It just felt nice. Okay, this is cut out for right-handed, and I'm a left-hand shooter, but it does feel very nice in my right hand. But shooting it left-handed, I didn't really have a problem. The cheek riser part of it, it is nicely rounded, so it doesn't end in a, in a straight line. It comes over, so I can still use it left-handed. And it does feel nice, even holding it at the thumb stop, it still feels good left-handed very nice definitely if you are after a good target slash hunting rifle this would be the go thanks guys